While with the summer season approaching, sidewalks and streets will see more cyclists. Bike Friendly Walker hosted their annual bike rodeo to promote safe practices for kids of all experiences when on their bikes. Reporter Mary Ballstead took a closer look at the courses and learned about the importance of bike safety. Those driving may see more people behind a different wheel with the summer season right around the corner. <laughs> Cyclists of all ages are starting to hit the pavement, with some just learning through events like the Walker Bike Rodeo. We're doing a bike rodeo and it's all about bike safety. We're learning bike techniques like roundabouts and stopping at stop signs and avoiding hazards and going slow. It's crazy to, um, to believe, but there are some kids who don't know how to ride a bike. And even if they do know how to ride a bike, Maybe they haven't been taught the hand signals or the safety aspects of being out on the road. Just, it's a skills test really. The 10 stations not only included activities kids can do on their bikes, but important lessons for them to do off as well, including putting on their helmets correctly and checking if their brakes work. There's a lot of traffic in coming up north right now. We want to encourage um, kids to get out on their bikes and do little short rides around the block or to their friend's house and as opposed to getting in a car and going. In order to do that, we would like them to do it safely. Whether the kids are experienced riders or just starting out, the skills learned through this course not only encourage safe biking practices, but a healthy lifestyle as well. It's really about um, enjoying the outdoors. It's not necessarily about racing and being competitive. It, it's more about uh, just getting outside, fresh air, getting exercise. You can burn a lot of calories if you just bike for an hour every other day. Reporting from Walker, Mary Ballstead, Lakeland News. The event was co-sponsored by Walker Hackensack Akeley High School's Community Education Department and the Leech Lake Chamber of Commerce. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.